safety and first aid hello friends how are you all you know there is lot of danger all around us and if we are not cautious we will end up hurting each other to know more about safety and first aid let's go to the science class how oh, where is navin is he absent today yes ma'am yesterday while returning from school he met with a small accident i think he didn't follow the safety rules we should follow safety rules first small and big accidents can take place inside or outside our houses if we are careful we can avoid most of these accidents easily we can get hurt in the kitchen bathroom road and playground safety at home homes are very comfortable for us but we can get hurt if we are careless in the kitchen do not touch hot vessels with bare hands use a towel throw the vegetable and fruit waste in a proper waste basket to avoid stepping on them and slipping pick the knife by its handle keep the floor clean and dry and free of unwanted things to avoid slipping never play with fire like matchbox in the bathroom use a non slip mat outside the bathroom to wipe wet feet never leave the soap on the floor you may step on it slip and get badly hurt don't play with sharp objects like blades and knife never touch the electrical appliances plugs and switches with wet hand you may get a shock safety outside the house we can avoid accidents if we follow simple safety rules in school in the bus on the road in the playground and everywhere it is better to always make the safety rules a habit some safety rules while crossing a road use the zebra crossing or a subway if there is no subway look to your right then to the left and then to the right again before crossing the road never run on the road while traveling in a vehicle don't keep your head and limbs out do not play on the road on the stairs don't rush up do not push in a crowded place don't run around in your classroom don't try to lift very heavy objects ma'am what is first aid first aid when someone is hurt or injured we can do something to help him before the doctor arrives these steps are called first aid we should have a first aid box both in our house and in our school for emergency use the first aid box should contain an antiseptic lotion such as detol or savlon gauze and cotton a pair of scissors band-aids a crep bandage antiseptic cream for cuts and burns a bottle of iodine solution sticky tape etc first aid tips for cuts and wounds wash the wound or cut with running water then clean it with cotton dipped in an antiseptic lotion for minor cut just put a bandaid for deeper cut you may need cotton swabs and a sterilized bandage for burns wash the burnt area with cold water put an ice pack on it or dip in cold water then apply an antiseptic cream like bernol one should always observe the safety rules to avoid accidents today onwards we will be very careful while at home playground or at school we will make the safety rules our habit good